It's been a while since we've answered some questions submitted by our subscribers. So today, we're going to answer some of them. Such is the purpose of this series of videos. Why don't the machines take control of the humans' minds like Smith did? Or why do the red pills eat slime if we saw that in Zion they have real food? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Today's first question comes from Spectrum. Morpheus found five people before Neo that he thought was the one. All of them died. There were five integral anomalies before Neo that returned to the source. Is the supposed five ones being repeated in this two instances a coincidence? Symbolic? Some subconscious form of control? Or am I just seeing things that aren't there? Neo is the outlier in both scenarios. Being the only survivor and actually being the one for Zion. First, we should give some context. For those who haven't seen our videos of Morpheus' alternate scenes in The Matrix, in the original script, Cypher told Neo that he wasn't the first person Morpheus thought to be the one. Neo was in fact number six. How many were there? Five. Since I've been here. What happened to them? Dead. All dead. How? Honestly? Morpheus. He got them all amped up believing in bullshit. I watched each one of them take on an agent. And I watched each one of them die. Little piece of advice? You see an agent? You do what we do. Run. Run your ass off. Because of Morpheus, the other five people died because they were not prepared to face the agents or the other dangers from being a red pill. They died believing in Morpheus. This is why at the beginning of the movie, Cypher told Trinity that they were going to kill Neo. We're gonna kill him. You understand that? Morpheus believes he is the one. Do you? It doesn't matter what I believe. You don't, do you? Cypher knew that the other five supposed ones died. After all, the one was a fantasy. Neo was Morpheus's sixth assumption, and he was the sixth anomaly, revealed by the architect. Like everything else in the Matrix, this is a symbolism of duality. This scene works like a mirror when the architect reveals that Neo was the sixth anomaly. The problem is that this would make Morpheus into a crazed fanatic who was willing to risk innocent people's lives turning him into a less likable character and rendering Neo's sacrifice in vain. Neo risked his life to save Morpheus as he believed him to be an important person and a friend. Neo being the sixth on the list makes him not so special. Even though everything we just mentioned was cut or changed, some of it could remain canon and could be referenced in the future. The symbolism of numbers and circumstances in the trilogy is common. Duality is a part of the essence of the Matrix. The next question comes from Dying Nails by Moy. Why is that? On board the ships, the crews must eat that awful crew-like substance. But in Zion, there is fresh food. We saw how Neil was presented with offerings, gifts, including fresh vegetables and fruits, even baked goods. Cypher had a moonshike-like hooch on board the Nebuchadnezzar. Hey, you, uh, want a drink? Where did he get it? Why only alcohol, but nothing substantive? Food was one of the reasons why Cypher betrayed his companions. In the real world, they eat a disgusting looking protein paste that was explained in the movie script as being made of insects like mutated cockroaches. Here you go, buddy. Breakfast of champions. Neil was warned that it was best for him not to know what it was made of. But why did the crew eat that stuff if there is real food in Zion? The answer to this can be found in the Matrix comic, Miller's Tale. In the comic, Morpheus tells the story of some old red pills that cultivated wheat seeds and made bread. They were eventually discovered by the Sentinels and the farmer red pills were killed and the crops burned. Yet still the people of Zion celebrate in their memory every year with a feast, which includes eating bread. Food in Zion is scarce, but as the comic illustrated, they make bread at least once a year for this special occasion. When the people of Zion offered Neo food and gifts, they were offering him their most valuable possessions. And in the world that the Red Pills live in, food would be a very valuable commodity. Those people possibly struggled to harvest and store that food in worshipping Neo. In Matrix Reloaded, 
the people of Zion had a big gathering where Morpheus spoke. This gathering may have been the yearly celebration where they ate bread in remembrance of the red pill farmers. And our last question of the day comes from Future Cubic. With Agent Smith transferring his mind into Bane's body, what's stopping the machines from rebooting the planet and the human race, all with minds inserted from machines and designed to all work in harmony? Humanity 2.0. Well, firstly, the machines may not have yet discovered how to erase and or take control of the humans' minds. Smith discovered this ability after being destroyed by Neo, making him the first program that was capable of infecting the human mind and modifying it in its entirety, a new skill that the machines may be seeking. But the most obvious answer comes from Smith's opinion of the human body. The human body is frail. Humans need to eat and sleep. They get old. They get sick. Get hurt and eventually die. It is difficult to even think encased in this rotting piece of meat. The stink of it filling every breath. A suffocating cloud you can't escape. Disgusting. Look at how pathetically fragile it is. Nothing this weak is meant to survive. The machines can work 24-7 without rest. They are not limited to a single body. If they are damaged, they can replace their broken parts or get transferred to another shell. It makes no sense for the machines to hinder themselves by possessing a flesh and blood body when a metal body is so much more durable and effective. A robot can last forever if it's properly maintained. A human has an expiration date. But do you agree? Why do the ship's crew eat that nasty protein paste when there's real food back at home? Why don't the machines just take full control of all the humans inside the Matrix? Leave in the comments below what other questions you would like us to answer. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.